Hey guys, it's Santana. I'm back. I'm just gonna do a shower. Sh sh shower essentials plus what's in my shower caddy video because I realized, you know, college admissions day is approaching. You're thinking about college and you're probably like, you know, I don't know. When I was applying to college and thinking about college, one major thing that popped in my mind was, what's the shower situ situation like at school? How do you survive using the shower with 12 to 20 other girls? on a floor and I'm here to just make you feel a little more comfortable with showering and using that same shower with other people and also I'm here to just kind of make you sad and just tell you the reality realities of using a shower with 12 to 20 other girls so let's just get right into it okay so first, I'm going to just show you my sh shower essential. I don't know why I'm struggling to say shower. My shower essentials, okay? And then also, like, what's the after? And then I'm going to tell you what's good about the showers, okay? So first, whew. I recommend, guys and girls, this is for both, that you get a shower caddy, right? So this is what mine looks like. It's the one that's like a cloth-like fabric i don't know how to explain it i know some other people get the hard shell case one i wouldn't recommend that one because that one takes up a lot more space and this one is easier to like fold and stuff i don't know but it has one, two, three, four, five, six, six pockets and then it has like one big section that you can put everything in and i feel like that's super helpful because you don't really realize how much stuff you carry to the bathroom until you actually need to carry it to the bathroom. So, let me just show you what's in the shower caddy or bag. So first, I have my shower cap, obviously. I It's a little beat up right now, but this is my shower cap. It fits the twist. Can't get that wet, you know what I'm saying? Takes too long to dry. So I got my first soap, because I have two soaps. <laughs> The Equate Beauty compared to Dove, cheaper though. Um, it's for sensitive skin because I have sensitive skin. So this is great. You can get the Hold on. Wow, this is ugly. Okay. You can get this from Walmart. I would recommend Walmart before Target. But, you know, if you're fancy like that, you can go to Target. Um, I also have... So I have two of these, but my mom got me this Poo Puri Before You Go Toilet Spray. Get this. It's just nice to have. Because who wants to be the person who stunk up the bathroom? Okay? And then I also have another one. This is a little more, um, you can tell. Like, this one is a little skinnier. It's like a little neutral color. Like, you could just slide this in your pocket real quick. This one is, you know, this one is the toilet spray lavender, vanilla, uh, vanilla, why am I, lavender vanilla scent. It's cool too, but I feel like if you know you want to be inconspicuous and like no one knows, like that's a good one. I have a razor. I mean, I feel like a lot of people have razors. I don't know. Shave my legs, my arms. Um. Okay. So my other soap. Yeah. What is? Oh. Okay. Um, Summer's Eve. Keep it fresh. It's the Aloe Love cleaning wash, the five in one joint yeah um okay then inside i'm being very you know open summer's eve cleaning cloths because you know you gotta keep everything fresh and clean and just have had so that's not as important but just you know sharing because you know it's important okay then also i don't have the other stuff but i have a loofah i have like three of these but a loofah a washcloth and a towel. I know there's gonna be some people that you see just walking up in there with a towel and some soap and you're gonna be kind of confused. Just let them be, uh, as long as you don't smell funky, as long as you don't smell their funk, like I feel like 
I wouldn't press on it too up, too much. But you do see people who just walk in the shower or walk into the bathroom about to take a shower with just a uh, towel and soap. But okay, anyway. So a part of my shower or like getting ready for sleep or whatever, because I usually take showers at night because I just feel like going to sleep clean is like way better than like going to sleep. Not dirty, but it's like, you know, it's like a feeling. I don't know. But there's, I think I can count on how many times I've taken a shower in the morning on my, on one hand. For the most part, I try to take one at night because, you know, I just feel better. But anyway, okay. So when I wipe my, I usually like clean my face with these wipes that, usually any wipes, honestly. I be using like the clean off makeup wipes. That's probably not good, but I used to use witch hazel but i heard it's like drying of the skin the t dickinson's witch hazel like i heard it dries your skin out so i use that when i'm trying to you know feel like i did something so i don't use it as often i used to use it every day but now i don't use it as often but um i really use the equate beauty exfoliating wet cleansing towelettes and it smells good it gets all the dirt like you can literally see dirt from your face on there and it's kind of like alarming but it's nice to see because it's like you know you're cleaning up so now after i wash my face i usually use the cetaphil pro dry skin eczema soothing moisturizer i don't have eczema but i do have dry skin so this helps a lot and i'm kind of running low but this is really nice it makes my face feel really soft and i feel like i'm doing something again like and then, okay, so I use this on my body. Jergens Ultra Healing Repairs and Heals Extra Dry Skin. So I use this on my body um, from the neck down. So, yeah. Okay. Deodorant. I don't know. I feel like I should just show you guys this since I'm already on this. But Degree Dry Protectant, you know. And then this is my hair oil. I... I'm gonna be honest, I don't oil my scalp every night. <laughs> I should, but I don't. I think I do it like every three to four days. I try to remember. But it's the Essential 17 Hair Growth Oil. Alley K Naturals. I got this from Target. It's kind of overpriced, not gonna lie. Get it from Walmart, like the beauty supply near you, and it should be the same price. I mean, not the same price, a better price. Cheaper, though. Um, okay. I don't know, I feel like I should just show you. This is how my toothbrush and retainer setup looks like. Looks kind of ghetto, but I don't know. I just feel like I don't have a toothbrush cover like, you know, I used to. I don't know, something about how I feel like the germs get on the toothbrush. It's just weird. So that's why it's in a Ziploc. And then lastly, I have two of these, but hold on, let me back this up so you can see. Don't mind the, the bed. So this is my a lot of people call it the old lady dress the shower dress but <laughs> it's like this and you just okay so you just put it on like this and it's got like velcro and they got that little one pocket it's really cute and then i have another one but that one's ugly so i like this one that one's from target i like it a lot it's really cute um a lot of people hate on me for when that think I'm goofy but it's fine it's fine to be goofy I feel comfortable in that so I don't know how people be walking around the towels but yeah so okay now on to the shower situation I showed you what's in my caddy but to me when you're going to the shower there's always a plan you always have to have a plan a strategy because if you don't you just go up in there you're going to be feeling some type of way so at my school, we're on the lower level, like the basement. So it's only three showers, and it's like, I'm going to say 15 girls on the floor, okay? So you kind of like the first few weeks, you kind of just have to figure out, sadly, everyone else's schedule. And then you figure out when, like, the most people be in the shower, and then when people usually are in the shower, right? So it's like, obviously, during, like, from... I'm gonna say 10, 10 to six, no one's in the shower. So if you have classes that are after, you know, 10 o'clock, you will probably be fine. 
Um, but if you have an 8 a.m., you'll definitely see people in the shower at 7 a.m., definitely see people in the shower at 8 a.m., 9 a.m. Like, those are, like, popular times to get in the shower, 7 to 9 a.m. And then in the evening, I would say there's, like, a sp- like a little bit of people from six to seven, because I don't know what people be doing. They want to be fresh before dinner, and then there's a spark at like eight to two. So, yeah. After that, you'll be fine, like eleven, twelve o'clock. Now, I don't like to take too late of a shower, because I already go to sleep kind of late. So I like to be in the shower. I like to take a shower, then be in bed and kind of relax for like an hour. So I try to take a shower at like. 8 30 9 o'clock maybe 10 o'clock i mean if i go to a party which is rare it might be one o'clock but for the most part i take a shower like between 8 30 to 10 and it's usually kind of empty in there like there's no one in there so you can play your music and yeah you're just chilling after that like um so yeah learn other people you don't have to learn like the timing and schedule but it's Everyone usually has a pattern of when they go to the shower and, like, use it. So, like, you'll kind of get used to it. Um, I would also recommend shower shoes. I did not say that. Oh, my God. Flip-flops are important. Flip-flops. I don't know. I don't, these aren't my shower shoes. I just wear these. But something like this to the shower, honey. Wear swim shoes if you have to. <laughs> But do not go in there barefoot because if you go in there barefoot, don't be shocked when you have gangrene on your foot, when you have athlete's foot, when your foot has to get cut off. Like, don't be shocked because people be up in here having foot funguses and don't be telling people. So please, for the love of God, if you don't take anything else out of this shower essentials, if you don't want to buy the soap, that's fine. But please, please, please buy flip flops because these floors, I don't know when the when they clean them like i'm gonna be completely honest and also like these people are sorry these people as in the residents on the floor can't be trusted hygiene is sometimes non-existent to some people so yeah that's all i can really say about that part um what else what else what else i think there's that's basically it like clean up after yourself when you're in the shower like if you're gonna wash your hair because i haven't washed my hair um, here. I try to do that when I go home. But I washed my hair here once, and, like, my hair obviously fell out. Not fell out. That sounds like, ooh. But obviously, my hair was shedding in the shower. So, as a good person, like the good person I am, I took the time to clean up my little hair, because, you know, that's what respectable people do. But a lot of people with loose, loose hair, string hair, that stuff be clogging up the showers, on the wall like spider webs and you just kind of have to look at that and hopefully you don't back into it like that's the fear I have every time I get in the shower where like a piece of hair will be stuck to my shoe and I can't get it off so that's basically my fears to me like um I feel like the shower shower rules should be like pretty self-explanatory but some people have never had to share a bathroom with others or some people just literally have no idea or concept of what cleaning up and keeping your area presentable is i don't know because sometimes these people be up in the shower just million what is that lollygagging i feel like people just be standing there because i like also don't take a long time like i know some people are like you know oh i get in the shower i stay in there two hours i don't know but to me that's just like i mean i don't know how schools run and i don't know if schools have like hot water like a tank of hot water and they run out and that's it but a lot of people i know like sometimes their buildings don't have hot water or be running out of hot water and you get stuck with cold water so i don't know how your building at your school is or if you're coming to my school mcdaniel college but i just feel like you shouldn't be in there no longer than like 30 minutes that's me personally now i know because washing hair takes longer so like yeah that's like what well, okay, if you're black, that's like what? That's what? Once a month, maybe once every two months, once every three months. I don't know. Based off your schedule, okay? But for my um other fellow white counterparts or non black but have looser hair where you have to where you may wash it every other day or whatever, like just be uh courteous um of your time in the shower because, you know, 
uh, like last week, I went to the bathroom and I messed with full and this one girl walked in with me and I just said, here, you can have the shower. Like, I put a timer on for 20 minutes and luckily someone else got out. But I'm just like, why are you in here for almost 45 minutes trying to fix the song? Because I was in there with the same person and they were like, click, 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 click. Do they little do they little Spotify playlist that has ads? I hear broke. Because okay, sorry. But when I'm in the shower next to you, I won't play my music over yours. Like I'll just let you play your music because you was there first. But if the music is trash or if the if I hear ads, I'm gonna be like, wow, like I judge. I judge all music. And I feel like shower music is very important. Like, it sets the tone. Like, if I hear some spoon in a garbage disposal, I'm going to hurry up so I can get out because I don't want to hear that. No offense to that. But if you like that sound, like, that's cool. I personally like something chill. I don't really feel like getting hype in the shower. Like, I know some people want to get, you know, after the club up and all this other stuff in the shower. But I'm not trying to slip and fall and touch this dirty, infested shower ground. So... That's just me. I know I'm probably going on and on about the shower that it doesn't really matter, but I don't know. I just feel like I maybe I should make a separate video on like bathroom courtesy in college. I should. I should do that. I'm going to do that. Um, just like common courtesy cuz I kind of said that in my first thing, first video where I was like things I learned my first semester of college, like, you know, people aren't going to have the same hygiene or like the same like, I don't know, not everyone's going to be the same when it comes to, like, taking a shower and cleaning up after themselves and all this stuff. But personally, you know, I feel like it's common sense. But I'll make another video on that. You know, I'm going to try to wrap this up because it's kind of long. But I don't know. Okay, so basically, hopefully you take my shower, like, what I put in my shower caddy and, like, take notes. Uh, hopefully you get something out of that. And also, I hope my, like, my shower tips and in college was helpful if not like i could do a part two or i could just answer in the comments because like i know i was kind of rambling about my stories in the shower but yeah like like comment share and subscribe for more videos like this um i will be in more videos with sine soon um yeah I put my foot on the gas, take off, I cannot let these boys pass me.